I'm Batman. Okay, no I'm not. And if you know what just happened, thank you so much and I appreciate you because you've been watching my videos for a while. And if you don't, well, this is a massive cringe fest for you. So let's try that again. So uh, my name is Eddie. I'm your table tennis coach. I hope wherever you are, you are safe and sound. You follow your guidelines and we can come out from this lockdown and COVID-19 as soon as possible. So we can all come back to table tennis. If you are able to play table tennis in the country, you're very lucky. If you're not, I feel for you. Why? Because we've been closed since March 2020. I think the 13th of March to be exact. I think that was even a Friday as well. So Black Friday on the 13th. And yeah, we haven't played much table tennis. Uh, not even much, I'm saying we've not even been open since that time. But anyway, I'll come to you from my house in my room to show you how to apply table tennis grip tape. I'll give you a little insight on why you should use it. And yeah, no, that's it. I did not rehearse this at all. So yeah, let's get started. If I have to summarize grip tape use and its benefits in one sentence, I probably would say it makes you a better player. And here are the reasons why. So reason number one is it's gonna make you a smoother player, especially when you have to switch between forehands and backhands. And when you're intermediate, a beginner stage, you might seem that you are quite slow from reacting. Well, with grip tape, that will prevent that. And you're gonna find that you are quicker readjusting your feet and your angle of your racket to bring out a good shot you're trying to do. And that's why that's the, my main re reason why as a coach, I always recommend having grip tape for kids or adults who have uh, maybe mobility a bit slower and or, or are just taking a little bit that extra time to learn how to play the sport. So with grip tape, it's kind of like training wheels in that sense, but no, it's not gonna make you slower of what people say. That's just complete rubbish. Don't listen to that. Reason number two is that similar to the reason number one where the adjustment is uh, sweeter, the big bonus is what most people don't talk about is when you're serving, especially when you're like intermediate level, when you're trying to serve, say, reverse pendulum, you have to hold the racket in a different grip than you would do with, say, even holding it like a forehand. And loads of serves are like that. You're holding the, the racket differently when you're serving and then you're readjusting to playing. But with grip tape, it helps you to do that. So when you do that serve and you feel like, oh, the ball came back to me a lot quicker, from the receiver, your grip tape will readjust your hand a lot faster to it and you can go for that follow through of a forehand top spin or a chop or whatever it is. So that is another big bonus. Yes, it's similar to, similar to like one, but it's doing with, dealing with serves and it's a very underrated uh, benefit of having a grip tape is the readjustment after serves and jumping straight into the ball to, to attack it. Number three comes from uh, being a coach and noticing uh, that it really works well for people who have a bit of a physicality uh, issues with the sport. For example, kids who are under 12, they seem to grip the racket very tightly when they're younger and they get sore because of that. They have little pains in their knuckles in their grip and they get tired a lot faster as well. So grip tape prevents that. And any adult that has immobility issues, um, they seem to work a lot better with grip because once again, their, their movement, their readjustments, their switching gets a lot more comfortable and smoother. And yeah, that physicality. That's reason number three. And reason number four is for those players who tend to sweat a lot. Because uh, even from personal stories, I can tell you that I've seen actually a player in our club, Jose, who hit the racket edge of the table and poof broke the racket in half somewhere on our club social media page you can see it but yeah it won't prevent you from sweating no but it will help you deal with the sweating during in matches and yeah just you won't have to think about it as much or fuss over it anyway that was for number four reasons four personal reasons and coaching preferences slash player references on why you should use grip tape but anyway let's move on okay so for the grip we're going to use sticker over grip and the two two come in the packaging it's already pre-measured there's no scissors needed no no special gluing not none of that and it, my, my main reason why using it because again it is professional done and it's actually a very nice thin medium layer that uh, really helps to make the racket still feel like you're wearing without one i do not like these ones so these ones you see in the picture now because they seem to be well they're, they're too they are very cheap but they're very thick 
and they're way too long. You sometimes need to use scissors to, to put them on. It's just too much hassle to be able to put something that costs around 10 euros or so. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna use. This is the grip tape that I'm gonna use and let's, let's get it open. Before I show you how to grip this on your racket, make sure you subscribe and click the notification button so you don't miss our videos. If you wanna get this for yourself, link in the description. I'm gonna open it in the most complicated way because um, I just like to, I don't know, I like to. Make sure you don't do this. Don't kids don't do this. Only adults should be able to use this. And yet somehow I'm still believable. I might cut myself. But anyway, I like doing this one because it's gonna come out nice and smooth. Whee! It's gonna come out nice and neat. You know what? I hope so it does. Who knows? Who knows? Do, do, do. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Perfect. Ah, it did work out as much as well as I thought. Well, as could as good it could be. There you go. See, that that's it. Two come in a package. Pre-made, pre-measured. Now, okay. Let's put this to the side. Let's get a racket for us. Now we're gonna use the Stiga Royal Four Star Racket. This is a club racket that we use for members who forget their own at home. So what you do is you remove this middle part, but you keep it. Then you have this bad boy right here. This is the actual grip. This is the lip. This is gonna come on the bottom. You take the yellow piece and you remove it. Very little satisfying little thing. Perfect, so we put that in the bin. That's not needed. Yeah, stick it in my hand. See, that's a very skinny, skinny layer, very good material. So what you do now is the lip part comes at the end. This is gonna come on the bottom. It's gonna stick to it. You're gonna remove this and it's gonna stick to it right here. And after that, you're gonna apply this around it to close it off so it doesn't peel off. So, yeah, let's get, let's get started. So when you're taking, taking all the three things that you need, your grip, your final piece and your blade, you can begin. This is my method and trust this method. This works every time and it's very secure for the long run. What you do, you take the fat end and you measure it by putting the, P, the corners to each other where the blade connects. You put it under the dipping part where your thumb goes for the blade, okay? Then around, the, around this area here, anywhere, there's not that, not that specific, but around that after on the right side of the blade, you bend it inwards like this, because you're gonna make sure it's secure and tight and there's, there's no loose ends. So now, this is, where it will, this is how it will look like. You take this corner and you put it in the original place where, it's, where it started. You take the lip and you put it around and you hold up with one finger for now. So then, why? Because then when you're gonna go around it, you're gonna securely tight it, tight it, and it's gonna look very neat. So we make the first, you have to, you have to change the angles, and boom. See, now everything looks neat and tidy. Don't worry about having that because that's the back end of my rubber, any of your rubber, so the, so the fingers will never go that high and you don't need it there. The most important is the front here to make it nice and neat and adjust in correct height. Don't be afraid to unpeel it and then peel it back on and stretch it. it it's, a, it's grip tape after all, you can stretch and it won't break that easily. So give generously away, don't be afraid to peel it off, as I said, just to make sure it goes all the way fully around the area. Right, I'm just gonna give a bit more generously to this part here because it's the center, like that, look at that. Nice and even distance gaps between each, each bend that's been around. So that we're coming to the end part. So you wanna make sure the lip does not move past the rubber. Oh, you see, that's okay. You see how I made a mistake there? Make sure you watch all through the sides. You stretch it off, see? You stretch it off and it's gone. And we're peeling on again, peeling on again, and boom, you make sure you just stay within the lines. 
and there we go like that now it looks very neat very level very nice so that's the fit that's not that's a semi-finished product that's halfway through right there and that's what it looks like so to finish it off we need to put this end part here and as i told you at the start i like these grip tapes because they're measured perfectly and you don't have to do any other measures or scissoring or any glue or anything like that it's just a bit of a practice at the start and that's all you need to do now we're going to take this off we're going to take this off the sticky part and we're going to make sure we're in the line and we're going to put it on the rubber so it holds itself Ta -da! so yeah there you go that's it that's what it looks like and this part here is going to help us to close any missing parts of the blade in this case we just have it right here but it just looks nice and nice and touch and touch to it we'll remove this sticky part and we're gonna start unpeeling everything come here come on have you noticed uh, come on this is okay but this is annoying there we go so stiga it's gonna look very nice very nice and fresh now to do we're gonna put this way so it depends on how you want to put it you want to put it this way so it faces your opponents some people like that i like the old-fashioned way where i can read read on it so what i do is i put it where the lip ends of the grip and I put right around it perfect and then you just smoothly but gently go around it you just go around it and we'll do this twice to give us enough tape to go twice which makes us secure or also if your blade is longer and um, it helps you give you extra material to to bend it around but look how neat that looks there you go boom perfect stiga yeah that's what it looks like on a camera it's a bit difficult to do it but trust me in person it's a lot easier to do it but yeah that's how your equipment will look like um, very neat very tidy doesn't peel off anywhere see that's why i use that bending thing because now it's all smooth areas and there's no little cuts or edges and look how that's nice and smooth like i'm actually using force it doesn't peel off so yeah i like it it's very skinny it's very nice very light and it's perfect especially with one of those moments when you're trying to switch in mid rallies do your serve and come back into it so yeah that's how you grip a racket on camera, I made, might have made it look a bit weird, but again, it was so difficult having a camera right in front of my chest to show you like a POV shot of it, but that's how it's done. Do use that technique to grip around the corner because it makes a lot, a lot more tighter. It looks, makes it look a lot more smoother because when you, if you wouldn't, your tip of the edge would probably be around whatever edge corner you would do, but this way now it's a smooth, smooth aspect to it and it's rather on the side of it. So that's why I use it. So yeah, I hope you liked the video. Subscribe for more videos and we'll see you soon and have a good day.